Hey, what is going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back another video and today I'm going to be doing my Attack on Titan um, episode 3.75 English dub review uh, for this OVA or OAD. Um, so... This episode was quite interesting because we did uh, pretty much have um, a lot of people uh, involved in this. Um, there was not one really focused person uh, on this like in the previous two episodes um, where it was focused on... You know, the commander, section commander, Hanji... And, uh, then the next episode was focused on Jean. This episode focused more on the team, uh, from season one. Uh, Aaron and Mikasa. Mikasa isn't training. UFC style like she was, uh, in the last episode, which I forgot to mention. Um. Uh, but anyways. Um. I also should uh, have an update here. Uh, Megan, the person who took over for Sasha uh, from Ashley, uh, is voicing the character, um, which doesn't surprise me because I'm pretty sure she was doing it. It's a little off, but it's it's pretty close to what uh, she originally sounded like. So, um, anyways, so. So this episode um, had them basically, you know, they, they were still doing their training and whatnot. Uh, they basically uh, were set up to, like, they were basically set up to go into this forest and, you know, do an excursion and whatnot. And, uh, make sure every, make sure everything was safe, you know, in the, uh, in there because, you know, it's, you know, it's a, it's a mission and they're learning what they have to do. Um, so you got Marco, uh, you got Aaron, you got Armin, you got, uh, Sasha, um, Annie. Rhina, you know, everyone's there, um, and, uh, you know, and, uh, they split into groups, uh, two groups, and, uh, they split into two groups, and they try to basically learn the ropes, you know, because it is a training exercise, after all, at the end of the day. Um, so, they're scourging, and, um, Marco, uh, is the leader, actually, of the group that, uh, Aaron is in. Uh, with Jean, and, uh, you know, they're arguing, oh yeah, I forgot, Krista was also in here too, aka Historia, but we all know her as Historia now, but she was Krista at the time, uh, from our perspective. Um, Mikasa and those guys, they find out about gang, gangs and thieves, uh, that were, uh, going in, uh, there who were managing to steal, uh, uh, ODM gear, and so they were investigating that. Um, again, Aaron's group was basically, like, you know, very, you know, they were all out there because Jean was, like, arguing and, 
everyone was trying to like basically figure out uh you know you know to complete the mission uh meanwhile armin was seriously trying to like you know not write up these people but he was gonna start writing reports like he was like he had the pencil right he's like no no don't do that don't do that so um that ha uh, happened um they eventually uh they go to sleep um and it's not when it's nighttime and uh this is when you see the bandits you know mobilize and they basically had the entire group at gunpoint and uh Aaron being Aaron uh decided you know screw this and freaking took the gun uh, and or tried to take the gun wrestled it out wrestled it out um you know and uh is kind of, I'm like thinking to myself like he just lost and they didn't shoot him like and they didn't shoot anybody also by the way um which I just think is so unrealistic by the way um you know, if you're not going to take them out after you just threaten them, um, why would he not, like, pull the trigger at that point? So, that was a little unrealistic. Uh, and then he's like, you better not do that again. You better not do that again. Uh, it could be us, your OVM, your ODM gear, you know. Uh, and they took Krista hostage. Um, and I don't think there was a real explanation to why Krista was hostage. I guess because she was a girl. A uh, female. Um, I, I guess that's the reason. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure because they were very vague on that whole thing. Uh, but these, th these mask people were just like the, the mask people with guns. Um, so then after that, they basically, uh, have to decide whether to go back to base or if they, uh, decide to, uh, uh, to go after Krista and the OVM gear. Uh, they decide, uh, Aaron says we have to go after them. And then Jean, you know, he, Aaron thinks he's going to disagree with them. John actually agrees that they need to go after. They need to go after them. Uh, or go after Krista and the OVM gear. Uh, they come up with an idea to basically stop the uh, the cab or the stop the chariots because uh, there's two of them. Uh, they come up with this whole plan for the guy who can uh, you know hear sounds I guess from far away, uh, and that if it was like one, it was the one. If it was two. You know, if they were both together, they would do two. If they were three and they were separated, you know, he'd ring the bell. He'd ring them all together. Um, they were separated, so he rang it three times. So uh, they went after the the bottom one, the, the one behind, uh, the second one that had the, that had the OEM gear in it. Um, and they're trying to shoot him. They, they can't do it. And the person by, uh, on the top, uh, the first uh, one that had Krista, is trying to sh uh, you know, shoot him, and it's failing. And then when they tried to do it again, Krista uh, actually came in to prevent them from shooting Aaron um, and whatnot. So there was that. Um and uh, they got their ODM gear back, um, um, and uh, then uh, they tried to get away in their second chariot with Krista because they're uh, the one person who had the gun, uh, you know, managed to pull away from uh, Krista, but then was like, you know, you know, she he was about to shoot her, and uh, then the driver said, no, no, don't shoot her because we could still sell her on the black market. Uh, I guess uh, I guess they're implying prostitution, which I guess that's what they were implying, but I just thought it was kind of a cheesy thing, because why didn't you try stealing the other people? Again, we got to remember, this is before 
This is before Krista was found out of being part of the royal family. Okay? This is when she was still Krista, not Historia. So, it really kind of didn't make sense. You know, um, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, I don't know, like, why did he capture Sasha then? Like, wait, freaking, she's a girl too. She's a girl too, like, what the, like, what? This just makes no sense, man. Like, come on. <laughs> they just want to get at Krista. Just because. Um, anyways. Anyways, about the getting back to, uh, this. Um, so, not too long after this, um... Uh, Aaron and her and his group uh, comes in with the OEM gear. I should say before this, also um, there was a moment where Armin borrowed uh, Sasha's like you know um, shooter or flare, basically flare shoot flare gun or whatever, um, and basically alerted uh, Mikasa's group, uh, Marco, and them. Um, however, then they come in, uh, they take down the second, or the first chariot with, uh, uh, Historia, or Krista, sorry, I gotta, I gotta refer to her as Krista, because this was when she was still Krista. Uh, so, they come in, uh, and then, uh, the guy, the leader, I guess, of this gang or whatever bandit gang um has the uh or has a uh he has a uh, uh, i guess a knife sword blade and uh has krista by the neck threatening to take her down unless they uh, take off their odm gear again and right when they're about to do it uh then mikasa's group comes in basically takes him out and the other gunman guy uh, and they were about to kill him, but they don't because shortly before this, Krista overhears that they're doing this uh, because of, you know, their, I, I guess his daughter uh, was very ill or something. And so Krista's like, no, don't do it. Uh, he started getting bloody through the neck because they cut it a little bit, but obviously not deep enough to, you know, kill kill him. Um so, Krista's safe, um, and, uh, everyone else is safe, they got their ODM gear back, uh, and so that mission was completed. Um, but, uh, for the public disclaimer, the public disclaimer, uh, I should mention um was uh quote uh wasteland exercise training two units leave the training base at the same time on a separate route retracing an object then returns this test their vigilance in low risk situations and end quote that was the only public disclaimer that they had for this um and again pretty much we kind of knew this already um because again this is dated information um so then they return to base with the uh, the bandits, uh, the bandits are arrested uh, officially, and uh, then after that, uh, you see Marco and uh, and Aaron talking about stuff about the situ the whole situation. Marco talks about he isn't meant to lead and whatnot, and we all unfortunately know the fate of Marco, but. Um, uh, at least we, you know, we've seen bits and pieces of Marco throughout the series. Uh, he wasn't really, he really didn't do that much. Unfortunately, most of the stuff we see is from flashbacks before he dies. Um, but it's kind of good to see what Marco was doing because, I mean, you know, 
kind of was just set up and then died. Um, <laughs> um, after this, uh, we see Armin is in the uh, room with the uh, uh, training commander, and uh, he basically talks about uh, and, you know, asks... Um, he asks if it was the right decision to, uh, you know, stay along and uh, do what they did, uh, you know, get Krista and get the ODM gear back or retreat and go back to base. And uh, he basically said he couldn't answer that. Um, as a soldier, you have to be discreet on what you're going to do. And, uh, you know, Armin... I think Armin made the right decision, to be honest with you. Because they were trained to know what they were going to do, or what they had to do. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean, you don't know in that situation, because they didn't have any weapons anymore. But at the same time, they were trained to know how to handle environment situations like that. I mean, obviously they had the, uh, obviously they had the skilled people to pull that off. Um... Again, they're being trained to be soldiers to kill uh, huge, humongous titans. Okay? So, if they're being trained to kill humongous titans, why shouldn't they be able to plan out stuff against bandits? Uh, you know? Uh, so, I think they I think they made the right decision, decision in that situation. They had the equip... They had still the equipment, even without the ODM gear, to, to do it and the skills to do it. And once they got the ODM gear back, then it was pretty much easy for them to, you know, get uh, Krista back and uh, sink the other uh, uh, chariot. Um, so, that was the end of the episode. Um, and uh, this is the, I guess end of the first batch of uh, OVAs or whatever, I guess, technically. Um, at least how they're laid up in Japan. Um, but uh, that's not how Funimation's treating it, or Crunchyroll's treating it. They're treating it just as eight episodes. I'm sure if it'll ever get released on Blu-ray or DVD, if they still do DVDs, uh, that uh, it will just, they'll just have them all released uh, in one eight-episode thing, because that because, you know, that's the only way it will fill, uh, is if you have it as eight episodes altogether. You're not going to release one episode on Blu-ray. So they'll have all the eight episodes together for the dub uh, for this OVA series. But, uh, yeah, um, I think the next batches are going to take place in uh, season two or three, maybe. Um, because this one was just covering season one, I actually, before, really, they even become official, um, I guess, official, like, cadets, because they were still training, at least in this episode they were. This episode was kind of good, in the sense of kind of focused on the teamwork aspect, uh, you know, Jean and Aaron obviously were at heads, which we've seen throughout the original season, too. Uh, so this kind of showed that they uh, were basically able to still work together despite their differences of how they approach things. Um, so um, this is, uh, like I said, this would have been very good to have seen when season one was out. Um, you know, uh, when season one was coming out, obviously when we got season one, season one was already out for Japan. It was like, we, we got it, I think it was like 2015 when we got season one or something. So uh, these episodes were already out by that point. So this would have been really good to have seen during that timeline. Uh, unfortunately, because of the powers that be, uh, that didn't happen. And we're seeing it now and looking back like, oh, okay. You know, but it is a it is a fun episode nonetheless. Um, again, you know, to recap the old stuff. Um, but yeah, um, good episode overall. Um, let me know what you guys think about this episode uh, from the dub. 
uh, comment, rate. If you like this video and my other videos, please subscribe. And uh, I believe that is it. Uh, Discord links will also be in the description as well uh, for my Discord contents for anybody who doesn't know about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm out of here. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for all the latest contents because that is how you can keep seeing new videos, guys. But that's it. I'm the SS Ultimate Goku. Peace.